Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another edition of Juicing with Jay. Before I go any further, guys, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and the bell notification so you can know every time I drop a video. Today, guys, I will be doing a garden tour. And what I have learned over the last uh, couple of months is that and in gardening general is that a mess creates pests. The more mess we have in our garden, the more pests we create within our gardens. And I have a perfect example of that. Uh, as I go through the tour, I'm gonna show you where my mess created pests. All right, so let's get ready for this garden tour. Matter of fact, we're gonna start uh, with a couple of exciting things that are happening. I have the first couple of buds on the dragon fruit, which I'm very excited about. And you guys know that's what I really love to grow the most inside of the garden. So let me show you guys the first couple of buds on the dragon fruit. So that was the first bud. And that is on the variety called Axe. This is the second bud, and that is on the variety called Connie Myers. Now, as I'm filming this video, I just saw the development of a new bud right here at the tip. Let me zoom back out. And that's on a variety called Laverne. These are all on the same trellis. Let me step back so that you can take a look. So I have four different varieties on this trellis right here, which is Connie Myers, Laverne, Axe, and Sugar Dragon. Those are the four varieties that are growing here. And as you can see, I have them labeled so I could know exactly which buds are coming from where. All right, so that's the exciting news. Dragon fruits are really looking good. And I'll give you guys more updates as the season uh, come along. All right, this is the avocado tree. As you can see, we have lots of buds and a few little baby avocados that I saw earlier, but they're so small, I'm not gonna go back looking for them anymore. So this is actually the most uh, buds that the avocado tree has had. And I will get to the reason why in a few minutes that a lot of the buds are gone, like right here. All right. Next, we have the tangerine tree. Still have a few tangerines on there. These are not quite ready yet, but we also have buds and flowers on the tangerine tree. I saw them earlier. They're here. I know they're there. And this is the low quat. If you saw the video yesterday, I repotted this or up, up potted this low quad tree yesterday. I'm getting ready to move this to the front yard where it has full sun. And then this is the pomegranate tree. It's deciding to act uh, right this year. So we have what's there for the pomegranate. Let me step back so I can give you guys a view of this pomegranate bush slash tree. You see? Yeah, it's up there. All right. So having a lot of vigorous growth on this dragon fruit right here. This was my heavy producer last year. And these are all different varieties, guys. Look at this vigorous growth right here. I actually need to come back and trim some of the new growth. 
in order that the plant could focus on producing fruit. And these were the yellow varieties. Every, everything on this trellis is a yellow variety. Of course, we got the lemon tree. Also, a lot of vigorous growth and new buds on the lemon tree. Back there, zoom in, we have a volunteer fig and Atamoya tree. I don't know what to do with it. I ran out of space, guys. I wish I had acreage like my people down south. I have some cilantro growing there. Cilantro. I have my kibasha squash right there. I also need to move that pot. I have this pepper tree right here, which I also need to dig up and remove. I have the mustards which now I'm starting to enjoy mixed with uh, some collards. I have some peppers back here. Those are the hab uh, Caribbean habanero and uh, scotch bonnet peppers. I need to come back and harvest some of that. I got some collards here. And this is the mess that I was uh, telling you guys about earlier in the video. This is all tomatoes. And within this mess, I've, I've spotted uh, a bunch of uh, grasshoppers. The same grasshoppers that are eating the buds off of, off of the uh, avocado tree. And speak of the devil, as I'm filming right now, you catch them live and direct. Here we go. This is, let me find him. Okay, there we go. There we go right there. The other one that I saw, okay, there we go. There we go. That little nasty bugger right there. That little nasty bugger. So now I have to come and trim and clean out this garden bed. And as you can see, we have the white butterflies going. I have this uh, pot of dragon fruit that I've been trying to get rid of for the longest time. These are my clean beds. So I have onions growing back there. I planted more onions. I have my first couple of, uh, my first couple of scotch bonnet peppers. Right there is zucchini. And here I have uh, onions and garlic growing and a nice harvest that I need to come and get of some potatoes back in there. I think the potatoes are even popping up out the soil. Let's see if I can get a shot of you with that. There it is. I need to come and harvest that right there. We got the greens going. Bell pepper from Pixie Ann. So there you have it. That's an overview of what's going on in the garden. I'm just trying to knock out these uh, projects one at a time. And uh, I've noticed that the moment that you fall behind in the garden, things can really get away from you. All right, guys, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the tour of the garden. Keep your gardens clean to avoid the pests that, <laughs> that uh, we get with uh, having an unkept garden. I'm gonna get into this. I probably might not do it this weekend, but definitely uh, in the weekends to come, I'm gonna get into, in, into this tomato plant and start trimming it back. Uh, I have a lot of tomatoes in there that I'm waiting for them to turn uh, yellow. These are my yellow pear tomatoes. And as soon as I can get a nice little harvest off of that, I'm going to just clean this up and uh, try to get rid of some of these pests. I did get some neem oil and some dim dimac dimacious earth or whatever that thing is called. Uh, I don't have the bag in front of me, but I, I learned about that from, uh, from urban uh, gardening. So uh, 
I'm gonna put some of that on there on the garden and in and around the garden to see, to see if I could combat some of these bugs that I pretty much welcomed into my garden by not keeping my garden kept. All right, guys, you know the motto on the page, each one teach one, juicing with Jay, and I will definitely see you on the next video. Peace.